What's going on guys? Kurosama here. And today we're taking a look at a 30 minutes mission kit, a part of the theme of the month, which is the 30 minutes march. If y'all want, you can take a look at the video down in the description and you can post all your different theme kits of the 30 minute missions wherever you want, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, where have you. Uh, but we're taking a look at the Alto flight type today. This is the navy color version, so it is a different colored blue than the original blue uh, Alto that came out months and months ago. But this is a beautiful, beautiful kit because of that flight pack and all the different accessories that's gonna come with this kit. So let's go ahead and take a look at all the details. So I have the Alto flight pack and the original Alto with some optional parts back to back so that way you can see the major difference. Obviously the Alto uh, with the optional parts is going to have a different chest as well as a different headpiece and doesn't have the original uh, shoulders on there. But you can actually recreate the original Alto uh, from the flight pack. The only thing you're going to be missing is going to be the original weapons and the backpack. With the flight unit detached, let's take a look at all the different parts that's going to be new to the Alto. So the first new part is going to be this faceplate. It consists of two different parts that combines together and then you slap it right on top of the face. It looks amazing and with that green underneath, I'm just simply in love. The next thing is going to be the new chest piece. Honestly, I like it, but I don't love it. It's really cool in its own kind of way, but I think I really would have preferred it to be filled in a little bit more on the sides instead of having the little like fins because to me that doesn't make any sense. And next we're gonna have is some new legs. So what is actually new is this bottom half piece right here and the feet. And then these are just some extra little parts that comes with it. Um, I don't know what they're supposed to be, maybe thrusters or just some weird panels. Uh, but yeah, I just slapped them onto the side. And I forgot to mention you are gonna get some new knee armor. Now with the new leg armor, I love it. I think it looks really cool. I love how slender it is. The feet, not so much. I mean, it's kind of cool but I don't know man, I'm just not really feeling it too much. Uh, it's, it's kind of personal preference to be honest. But the range of movement is essentially going to be the same as if you had the regular leg. So I'm not gonna showcase the articulation on this kit because it is essentially the same as the original Alto. So with that, you can just check out my old video which I will link in the description and you can see the articulation there. So something I didn't mention was the colors. I love the navy blue on this as well as the gray to contrast with it. It just looks amazing and I absolutely love it. Now next we're going to take a look at the flight pack. Now your connection point is going to be your basic two pin system much like Gundams have for their backpacks. It has these two different attachments on it. One doesn't really seem like anything except for just a point for things to connect to it and the other is going to be thrusters. Now speaking for the entire 30 minutes mission line, I am just truly impressed with the level of details they put into this. Not only do you get a bunch of panels, but there's a lot of raised parts, a lot of different angles on the actual armor, so that way it's not just one like flat piece. They put a lot of effort to make sure that you're gonna get a quality product. The wing's gonna look really cool with all the different angles and especially gonna have all those little panels on it. And if you wanna connect anything like, I guess missiles, if they do have missiles within the line, haven't seen that yet. Uh, but if you wanna connect something to the wing itself, you definitely can with those different ports. Now in terms of articulation, these are just gonna be on pegs. So this can just rotate all around individually. As well as the wing, this can move in and out. And then this part can retract or raise. Now with the flight pack on, and please excuse the Megami device stand, it's kind of like one of the better stands I can use for this kit at the moment, but this thing is looking so good and stylistic. It's very agile, it's very slim. Honestly, just the feet is something I'm not really too keen on, but everything else is looking so beautiful. Um, honestly, I'm blown away by how far they're taking these 30 minute mission kits. Um, you know, giving it a flight pack, as simple as it is, is just something that makes a world of difference. So let's go ahead and take a look at the weapons it comes with. First thing we take a look at is going to be this cannon. Now it has a little rotation right here for this mounting piece. It can go over the shoulder on the flight pack, underneath the wing, on the side of the arm, on the legs, wherever you really wanna put it. So that's actually a really cool gimmick. Now if you want, you can actually take off this bit and then you can also add on the handle so that way it can fit right into the hand. And 
Okay, next we're gonna have is a cannon. Honestly, you can use it as whatever you want. I've seen it being used as legs, and I've done something similar to this with one of my Frame Arms Girl customs. So you can use this as like maybe just thrusters for the legs, or you can use it as a, an actual cannon for wherever you want on the uh, the body, the fly, flight pack. You can even use this as just an arm. So whatever you really want to do, the you know the option is yours. And you're also gonna have a bend, so you can bend right there, and this little peg piece right here. And uh, these are gonna be the same connecting points as the legs and the arms so like I said if you do want to use these as either one you could definitely do so Now the last thing you're gonna be getting is this drone. Honestly, I don't really have much of a use for it. I've, I'm just kind of putting them all to the side and maybe I'll make a giant army in the future. But yeah, for the time being, I'm not really too interested in them. And you also get a nice nifty sticker sheet so that way you could just plaster a bunch of numbers all over them. Now for height comparisons, here he is next to the original Alto, the High Grade Gundam, and the Master Grade Gundam 2.0. So for the pros, honestly, this thing is perfect. I really can only find one flaw and that's, I wish it had water slide decals for different types of labels and symbols and such. But other than that, it's a perfect kit. <laughs> I, I mean, the accessories, the level of details, um, just the aesthetics, articulation, it's really beautiful. It's amazing for the size of this kit. Uh, if it was a one in 100, I can only imagine the level of detail and everything else that it would have at that point. But the fact that it, it's more of a 1 in 144 scale uh, you know, model kit, I think that's why this thing is so amazing. Is because they can pack so much into this one little thing and it is going to stand out. But man, the price point, you know, being around 15 bucks, that is just fantastic. Um, but final thoughts, I really recommend getting this. It's something that I never really thought I was going to get into because even back in the day when I saw Frame Arms, I really wasn't too into it. But now I'm seeing these 30 minute missions, I really want to get into this way more than what I want to do uh, Frame Arms, even though they're pretty much the same thing in a lot of ways. But that's it for me guys, thank you all for watching. Uh, be sure to leave a like and comment if you can. But that's all from me, so I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye bye.